<laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Senek, and I write the weblog INFDA. On the second day of the new 112th Congress, I had the opportunity to sit down with Congressman Jack Kingston, Republican from Georgia. He sits on the Appropriations Committee. I wanted to ask him, how is this committee in the 112th Congress philosophically different from that of the, of the 111th? And if I'm making a case for appropriations, what's changed? Here's what he had to say. I think we want to spend the tax dollars effectively and make sure that we aren't making political decisions, maybe based on hysteria, maybe that we gin up in Washington, or maybe that uh, you know, people are ginning up out there in the heartland. Um, you know, where there is a problem, that's where we should focus money, and where there's not a problem, or where there's a state presence and the state's doing a very good job of, of financing things, we probably would be more inclined to back off it. But, um, you know, in America right now, um, we're all in the same lifeboat, and if you look at the growth in Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare, it's taking up more and more of that lifeboat every year, and so er all dollars really need to be scrutinized. You know, it, it's funny, in this town, we tend to divide everything up into parties or Democrat versus Republican, liberal versus conservative, uh, yet when you are overspending, it, it's really not a partisan issue. It should be something we all share, and then we should say, listen, don't think you're going to balance it just in one area, one constituency. Everybody's got to, this has got to be across the board and done fairly. But um, to, uh, to quote President Obama, who was quoting somebody when he said it, reminded Republicans a year ago that elections have consequences, and I'm going to move ahead with my health care bill. I, I think elections have consequences. In November, there was a different mandate that was, doing, that go, was going from Congress. But let me say this. I'm a believer that America knows best and America prefers split government. George Bush, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama had the Congress to themselves for a short period of time and then quickly the marketplace corrected it so that we could all keep our eye on each other. And that said, our job isn't to represent one party, it's representing the best interests of the country. And I think if we could all keep that in mind, then as we look at food safety or entitlement reform or spending in general or the war, then we can come together and say, okay, what is best for America now and for our future generations? And I, I think there's some great opportunities to get together and change some things in this town. Congressman, thank you so much.